Don't do it, David. Uh -huh. You promised me you wouldn't call. Maddie? You think I'd get used to these dream sequences by now? Maddie, uh... It's a new look for you, isn't it? David, you weren't going to call, were you? I asked you to give me some time, and you said you'd give it to me. Yeah? No, I... I... I know, I was, it was a moment of weakness. I'm over it now. Now, Maddie, about this time, will you explain to me again what you need it for? You know what I need it for. No. No, I don't. You have to explain it to me. Book of the Month Club, macrame. You're gonna have to explain it to me, Maddie, because I don't understand. I care about you, you care about me, we care about each other. There's a whole lot of caring going on here. So why the hell does this have to be so hard? Maybe because we do care. Maybe that's why it's difficult. If we care so much, what are you doing in Chicago? I told you. I'm trying to work things out. And it's time I got back to it. Well, what if I came out there? David, don't. Maddie, I am tired of this. I am tired of waiting. Don't come out here, David. I'm coming out there, Maddie. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You're not, you're not, you're not. And I'm not coming back there. Not now, not yet. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Might want to turn the burners down. Your yokes are getting hard. I know how hard this is for you, David. No. No, you don't. You're not here. I can't talk to you. I can't help. We should be doing this thing together. But we can't. I'm sorry. That's just not my way. I have to get away by myself to think and be sure. Yeah, well, maybe that's your problem. Maybe you think too much. Maybe you don't think enough. In fact, maybe that's our problem. No, that's not our problem. That's not the way it works. You don't go away and think about getting better at the piano. You just bang away again and again and again. Maybe if you could think a little more about the situation, maybe if, in fact, you could think at all about anything beyond the general vicinity of your belt, you'd have an inkling that a no-account, irresponsible legend in your own mind like you has no place even dreaming about a future with the likes of me. In fact, where do you get off even asking if we... Wait a minute. You're putting words in my mouth. You're turning me into... Addison. I'm a witch. If the broom fits. What did you say? You heard me. Addison, this isn't fair. You can't turn me into anything you want. You can't make me say anything you want me to say. Sure I can. For your information, I'm in control here. This is my fantasy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> All right. I'm impressed. She turned me into a horny toad. Hey, 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 back off, will you? You win. I'm sorry. Okay? It's just that... Nothing about this feels right. Me here, you there, it's... It's unnatural, that's what it is. It's yin without yang, vice without versa. I miss it, Maddie. I miss you. You know what the really weird thing is? For the life of me, I cannot remember what life was like in this office before you were here, sitting behind this desk. It just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem fair, and I don't know what to do about it. David, I don't expect you to understand it all when I don't understand it all myself. I'm just confused. As confused as I've ever been. I'm sorry, but I can't help the way I feel. Just like you can't help the way you feel. But you have to let me feel it and deal with it my own way. Please? Okay. Do what you gotta do. Maddie? I miss you too. Maddie! No, Roberta.